Well, it was when I was in school, I was at Cal State Fullerton, and uh, I had a teacher, Kim Ables, who's just an amazing artist, a Los Angeles artist. And uh, in her class, she had this program where she would bring uh, in all kinds of artists just to come in and talk about their work. And so she had Diane Gamboa come in. And so Diane came in, and first off, um, my work is very much about uh, assemblage, and installation-based work, and found objects, and pulling them together. And Diane's work, she has quite a bit of that in her work. And I just first off fell in love with her work. And um, a big part of the conversation that day was her talking about self-help graphics, because she was talking about her trajectory as an artist. And um, so she really you know, had quite a bit to say about it. And then Kim, as well, talked quite a bit about it. And so I just, that was the first time I heard about it, and I was just, wow, this place sounds really, really interesting and like something I want to know about. And, you know, and I was already um, at, in my own art making, sort of examining some things by going back and doing work about the history of my grandmother and, you know, things and like really connecting to that part of my, my cultural history. And it's like, I've got to find out about this place. So then after I graduated, because this was like my last year, it was like 89. And so then in 1990, like maybe it was 89, right in there, um, a friend that I went to school with got in a show at Self Help Graphics. And it was a group show. And so he invited us. So, you know, we all went. And it was packed. And I remember, you know, I was there and I was just like, it's just thought it was so fantastic. And I, you know, loved the show. And there was all these people. And I was just looking at everything. And, and I was just really connecting to this work in a different way than, you know, a lot of the other work that I had been surrounded with through, you know, my college career. And it just, it spoke to me in this other way. But I was going up and looking and back and, and I was stepping back from a piece and then I stepped on the feet of, this, of Arturo Urista who at the time was the gallery director. Of course, I didn't know, other than, you know, I didn't know him. I stepped on his feet. And um, so <laughs> I was completely mortified, but he started talking to me and, oh, you're an artist. And so he, you know, we just had this great conversation. It was just this, you know, happenstance. And um, he invited me to come back and show him my work, and I did. And he, you know, liked it quite a bit. And so he, he booked me into a, a group show. And so I was in that show. and. Um, I remember that's when I met at that opening Consuelo Flores, um, just very briefly. And uh, I remember she called me up because at the time she was doing a lot of curating of shows. She curated a lot of shows around that time. And she called me up, and I'll never forget the first words out of her mouth was, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and where did you come from? <laughs> Which is very Consuelo if you know her, because the whole thing, because, you know, now I just laugh about it, because she's so forthright, and, you know, it's just very funny, and she's just like, why don't I know about you? I know everybody. And it's like, well, I've, I've been over here, and, you know, you know, it's sort of whatever, but, so she, she, I was in a group show with her, and then, um, that was when Michael Amesqua was doing his fire show. So he liked the piece, and I think also Karen at the time was looking to bring new artists in a lot, and so they were really looking for new artists to come in. And, and my work was not really traditional in any sort of sense. I mean, I was doing, you know, assemblage and, you know, I a lot of conceptual-based things, and um, it was just, it was different kind of take than what a, a lot of the artists were doing that were associated with the organization at the time, and um, so they, so, so Michael asked me to do this fire show. I think she might have encouraged him. Um, and so I did the fire show, and that was, and I'll talk a little bit more about it later, but that piece was like this huge success that I didn't plan it the way it, it was. I mean, it was this piece, that show was a show where you had to create work that either contained fire or was consumed by fire, and I created this piece that, that created this column of fire that literally went up 
and, and the top of it was equal to the, the top of the, the level of the uh, roof of Self Help Graphics. And um, Karen, it was like this big, it was the hit of the show that time, it was crazy. Um, and Karen was watching that show from the back, just the uh, landing out of the outside stairs. And, you know, she loved that show. I mean, she loved that piece. And so uh, I didn't know it, but at the time they were looking for another artist to fill out their atelier that they were doing. And so she um, selected me and asked me to be that artist. So I got to right away do a print, like almost within six months of first stepping foot at self help graphics I was doing a print which I know was a, not a, the regular experience for a lot of people but um, it was a fantastic opportunity it really was.